Hey, what is up guys? Calum or Calum's Fish Tanks, and in today's video, I am walking you guys through the setup of my 24 gallon Dutch style aquascape. So let's get started. Before we get started, I'd like to thank AquariumCO2.ca for sending me a regulator for this tank. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link to an unboxing in the top corner and have their website down below in the description. And if you're planning on ordering anything, you can use code Calum for 5% off your order. So this tank is about 24 gallons. I don't know how many liters, unfortunately, but it's 24 inches long, 12 inches wide, and I think 18 or 16 inches tall. I don't remember, and I didn't measure it before shooting this video. So before we get started, let's talk about the specs of this tank and the equipment I'm using. So first up, let's talk about lighting, and I'm using the Chihiros Vivid 2, and this light I am so impressed by. The color I am getting from my plants after only 12 days is insane. Everything's growing so fast, and I'm just super happy how everything's turned out. And if you're looking for this light in Canada, you can check out AquariumCO2.ca as well. For filtration, I'm using an Eheim Classic 600, you know, nothing too special. Pretty big filter for such a, a, a small tank by comparison, but over filtration is better than under filtration. And then for substrate, I'm using Tropica Aquarium Soil, and this I got from Steel City Scapes, whose website I'll have down below in the description. So now let's watch this tank come to life. So when I started this tank, I left a bit of the oiled soil behind, and that will leave a bit of beneficial bacteria in the tank to help me cycle it quicker and make it a bit more stable from the get-go. Just gonna jump in and interrupt real quick, but these little bamboo skewers I've seen a bunch of aquascapers use before and recommend, and honestly I thought it was a bit overkill for the longest time, like that's that's a bit much, you probably don't need those, but I tried those on this scape and I, I have to say it really helps a lot. Um, figuring out how to plant your plants, especially in a Dutch scape like this, is a bit difficult, and uh, this really helped me visualize it and I think it helped a ton and I recommend you doing it as well.
So here you can see day one after I filled up the tank. You know, pretty bubbly, kind of a mess, doesn't look too crazy. But uh, as time goes on, this tank really came together a bit. So here you can see it after one week. And today I also decided to go take some shots of this tank before editing this all together and posting the video. But first up we've got the Ludwigia Super Red Mini and this stuff is going nuts. You can see all the purling under the leaves. Absolutely stunning plant and I can't wait to see how this grows out and if it can even get any more red because right now I don't think it can beat the color it has. I also did the first little trimming of this tank and that was just on the gloss of stigma. It was kind of growing up a bit too high and I wanted to trim it a bit to encourage it to carpet a bit more so I can get a carpet a bit faster. But this stuff's growing super fast and hopefully I'll be able to get a carpet soon. Now with every new tank comes a bit of algae in this tank. Um, it's got quite a bit now but I scraped it all off which was super super satisfying. You can see it just dissolve into the water, it looks amazing. Uh, but I'll get some stuff to take care of that soon and then post a video on that as well and continue to update you guys on this tank. Maybe do some trimming sessions, that kind of thing in the future. I wanted to thank again the people who helped make this tank possible, Steel City Scapes and Aquarium CO2. I really appreciate you guys for supporting my planted tank hobby. But anyways guys, that about does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have more videos soon. I'm done exams on the 20th and then it's go time. I'm going to try to upload every single week over the summer. But anyways, this was Kalem's Fish Tanks. Peace.